Greetings everyone, and great here with another H Powers 3 replay. Spawn on the south side as the blue Indian. We have a foreign main. Spawn on the north side as the red Canadian. Red Sue, we have Canadian. And thank you for the, I think that's a YouTube description. Let's see now, let's take a look at the natives of Mask. We got the house of Fanar, we got some Greek. Uh, Ever zones, Greek skirmishers with high hit points, and boyars, hand cavalry from Waleka. As well as we do have the House of Witten. We do have access to the Trabons, a hand infantry with high hit points that protect nearby units, Aura, and a Saxon Crusier. Yes? Oh, wait. Oh, it's the uh, one campaign hero on top of elephants rather than the monks. Huh? Like this guy. Ready. Of course, let's take a look at their explorer's names. We got Pokey with a stick versus a name I can't yeah. read, nor that I can read that name. And we do actually have a deck selected for the Indian player. We do have, of course, the Wood Trickle. I'm about to sneeze. Sorry about that. Got wood, uh, wood cores, chest of coin, reputs, Ravinian martial arts. All hand attacks do more damage, especially for reputs. So it gives all, all melee get plus fifty percent uh, attack, melee attack damage, including other not really prioritized melee units such as the, let's say skirmisher, the Gurkhas. Also give reputs additional five percent. Sea poise, sours, camel attack. Uh, Desert Terrors, so I always inflict more damage against archers and skirmishers. And Zomburkas inflict more damage versus heavy cavalry and coyote runners. Got diplomatic intrigue, foreign lodging, giving more wood trickle. Coin, Rami Swordsman. It's really weird I noticed about the Rami Swordsman. I was really researching, looking into them. They are actually not light nor heavy. Uh, think of the follow tough swamp. They're neither light nor heavy infantry. They're just infantry. Royal Green Jackets, Gurkhas deal more damage to heavy infantry, making their god of skirmisher a little bit more effective. Each uh, tech at the console grants additional Gurkha for free. Uh, East, uh, British East Indic uh, Company, Sea Boys, Gurkhas, and Sours hit point and attack increased by 10%. Autos, Siege Elephants, Mahab Lancers, Elephant Combat. Named elephants. Elephants uh, cost ten percent rest, rest less resources and build time. Foreign train company adds uh, export trickle and reduces the cost of consulate armies, but now all units cost slightly more resources. Wait. Adds a resource trickle and reduces the cost of consulate armies, but all units cost slightly more. Doesn't tell the exact stats. Hmm. Not so sure of what that does. Sounds like a really big double-edged sword. He's going heavy light on consulates, I'm guessing. Either way, we do also have the Malhot Lancers. Uh, the which the professional handles to make your village elephants cost less uh, population. Mergle elephant armors improved your different resistance of elephant units and team Shiraz tactics. All, all units get plus five, plus five damage and health. Either way, let's take a look at the uh, Sioux deck. We do of course have the villagers, the healers. Oh yeah, and healers can work at the community plaza, so can he can bring a shipment of healers to work at the community plaza? Chest of coin, chest of coin. Uh, Sentin bowmen, the warriors, axe riders, demon. Demon trade muskets turn X raiders to rifle riders. Cavalry damage. Great hunter. Villagers uh, gather faster from hunted animals. And 10% of all of the, your gathered hunted animals gather support gets a bit of a refund as well. Overall, it's better to go for that sooner rather than later because you will get more food. 20% is greater than 10%. But you can always go for it later on so you don't have to. Bison. Cavalry combat, rifle riders, to uh, Tokala soldiers, earth bounty, first game guest city coin trickle, as well as increase the estate gathering rate. 
adoption. Villagers are trained faster and provide 250% more AXP. Which could make it so your talents will like provide like a hundred experience per minute, I estimate. Local doggo does go down. Sunday's support, six to send six uh rifle riders as well as increase hit points of all axe riders. Since the axe riders, not rifle riders. Yeah, can support. Since six rifle riders, increase the damage of all rifle riders. And ultimate rifle trade gives you coin trickle for all resources, especially from huntables. Of course, got the rifles. Count seven council fire. The seven council fire sets the vision of champion foot warriors fight for the alliance. All foot warriors are champion status uh, now. So, oh, so it gives you champion upgrades for all of your war hut units, not your stable units, and deliver small and seven units. That's for 400 coin. That is horrendously valuable. Jeez, because one champ. Champion level upgrade is more than 400 coins, that's, and that's all of them. So that makes your infantry composition much, much more instantly viable with Dusher Rage. I can simply increase the hit point of all the color wars, but reduces their damage against villagers. Great combination there. And advanced capture mortars make them cost less population. Delaware's three capture mortars. Heavy infantry do to commit damage there. These are axe riders. Uh, heavy infantry, heavy cavalry. Got some uh, seaports here, a musketeer variant. Blood Brothers, champion level natives, and bison. Turns all your axe riders to rifle riders, so he's doing that because he wants these guys to axe riders. He needs to get a ship. Okay, he's pulling out uh, axe riders as well. I'm not sure if there's not time to get another queue going, but. This will give him 10 rifle riders. Rifle Riders, I found out from the previous game, they do bonus, they're a mix of a Lancer and Dragoon. They do bonus damage versus heavy versus infantry, or heavy infantry, while still being a Dragoon variant, so. They should be very effective versus Sepoy. Sepoy, or of course, the Musketeer variant. They seem like they have less bonus damage overall, but I think they have, I'm not sure if it's, I think they have a bit more health, yeah. They do also have times 1.5 attack speed, so they're pretty good. Though they do not have good siege attack, and even doing less damage from some walls. Good damage there. He does take a couple melee hits, but does quickly kill them off. Now the rifle riders push away forward. Nice one shipment of Axe Raiders, and I was supposed to put a group of Axe Raiders. We have Agri Fort here, which is of course a landmark or wonder fort. It does have good AoE damage. Damage to output is still not great. Got a number of Gurkhas in the field, which are anti light. Oh, These guys do bonus, uh, do bonus is heavy, but Gurkhas are light. We're going to claim himself some 70x EXP. More Gurkhas are going to be required. Going for, yeah, he has a good number of Gurkhas now in the field as well. 10 is a good number. These rifle riders right now will do 13 damage every 0.5 huh. seconds. These guys do attack every 3 seconds, doing 16 damage, but with a lot of bonus damage to return. But overall, it will still be a relatively equal fight, because their higher attack speed will pan out quite a bit. No, I think foreign lodging is going to be a bad item. He needs to get out something. Boots may be good actually, since they are heavy melee. Sure, they will see bonus damage from the rifle riders, but at least they will have a good melee attack. We do now the militia and the irregulars not being brought on board. Storms are being overrun by the axe raiders. And his force will go down. It's going for a wave of rap boots. 
progress over here. They do type 3 damage versus uh, cavalry. Their attack, their movement speed is only 5.5, which is probably not fast enough. This rifle right could go down. I think focus on the warships while I. A bad idea. And now, looks like all of his military forces now down. He's not going for a shipment of uh, the British uh, gaming six red coats. And I don't think. I think the Indian player is just out of the game now. He does have an adequate amount of gold and food at the moment, so maybe Wave of Gurkhas will be in order. Red coats will be countered by the rifle riders. Commandament. Okay, the Venom Silk has some of the axe riders, but it's simply going to get outnumbered. Got a wave of boots and a shipment of boots being brought on in. Those are inside the town center. This will give him 10 rapoots. And the Indian player does back the game now. This is Anna Grant saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.